Hey, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to look at how you can add infinite scrolling into your Rails app with Hotwire. This feature allows you to paginate your records by scrolling to the bottom of the page, as opposed to using manual pagination where you need to click a link to fetch the next page. If you think adding infinite scrolling to your page is a lot of work, I'm going to show you that's not true. So let's go. I have created a new Rails application, and I've generated a posts model, so everything you see here is pretty much the default generated Rails code, and I've added a few Tailwind CSS classes to make it look better. But other than that, there's nothing particularly interesting to see here. I've added the Tailwind CSS Rails gem to add support for Tailwind CSS and the Kaminari gem for pagination. Because even if we're not going to paginate manually, this infinite scrolling feature still works a lot like the usual pagination. I've also pinned the Rails request.js package so we can send turbo stream requests from a stimulus controller. And for testing this feature in the browser, I've added 300 records in the database with randomly generated data. You can see that by looking at the seeds.rb file. So now that we have the basics in place, we can look at how the infinite scrolling works. The first thing we're going to need is to paginate our posts in the controller. So inside the index action, I'm using the Kaminari gem to retrieve just enough posts to fill one page. Now comes the actual pagination part. We're going to rely on a stimulus controller to handle the user's scroll events. Namely, it will register a scroll event handler and it will call its own scroll method every time that event gets triggered. For all this to work, I need to bind this here. Without that, this will point to the document instead of the controller object. We don't want the request to go out on every scroll event though, so we need to make sure that we're only going to fetch new records when the user has scrolled to the bottom of the page. So that's why we have this condition in the scroll method that does three checks. The first one is making sure that we are at the bottom of the page so we don't fire off a request to load more records if we've not reached the bottom yet. The second check is a flag that gets set to true before the request is fired and back to false after the request is done. It makes sure we're not firing multiple requests for the same page. And lastly, we don't want to fire any more requests if we've fetched all the records. That's why this third check is here. We'll look at how it works in just a second. Before sending the request to the controller, we're adding a spinner to the page just to let the user know something is happening in the background. Then we're sending the request to fetch more records and we're incrementing the page number and flipping the fetch switch so we can perform another request on the next scrolled event. That's all the stimulus controller does. It doesn't handle the response request because that is automatically handled by Rails. Since we're sending out a turbo stream request and the response contains turbo stream instructions, Rails knows how to handle them. It renders the index.turbostream.erb template which provides the instructions on how to update the page. The first instruction will remove the spinner from the page to let the user know that the background work has been completed and the second one will render a new collection of posts and will append them to the page. But if there are no more records to fetch, then it adds this target to the page as well, which makes the third check in the stimulus controller work. So if this target is on the page, the third variable in the if condition will be true, and thus no more requests will be sent to fetch more records. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully it doesn't feel too complicated. I think Hotwire makes adding infinite scrolling to your Rails application a breeze. If you want to see even more Hotwire videos, check out my Hotwire playlist here. See you next time. Bye.